Hello, welcome back. And on, the, on this part, I want you to show you how we can create assembly drawings from this simple structure of an elevated water tank. Now, we want to create assembly drawings for these secondary beams here. Uh, the same in, in length, but uh, on how uh, how the assemble, how the frame with the other member is different. Maybe this is framing from that, that is framing, but mo most of them um, uh, the same, but this how members frame with this and this and, the, and this for the for end here might be different, slightly different. Now let me just show you how we can create a simple uh, assembly drawings from this member. Now I will select the member I want to generate assembly drawings from, then come to drawings and report and pick on create drawings here and I'll just pick assembly drawings. And this only happens if you're satisfied by your settings here. If uh, by the settings that we, you create here, let me just say select that. And if I click on the default there, and you will be able to see all the settings, all my settings here. You can see the number, uh, my drawings number, my drawing name is that number. And if I come to view, I've customized everything there. The, this is just a default, just leave it as it is. The notation, just leave it as it is. Or you can go further and uh, customize everything here. You can maybe come to annotations here and maybe you change the text, how the, uh, how the text looks like. You can change, but all this will go st step by step and explaining on how you can configure all that. So let me close that and come back and close this. And I'll switch back to my, uh, my model view and I want to create assembly drawings here. So let me select on that, then come to create drawings here and pick on the assembly drawings right there. So I'll give, give it some time to generate drawing and uh, probably the drinks, uh, the drink has been created there. So just go ahead and under drinks manager, double click there, and we have the drinks on the drink list here or the drinks manager. So if I double click there, I'll give you some time to load the drawings that have been created from elevated water tank. So uh, th that secondary beam has been uh, uh, created. So we have this secondary beam in place. So this is what we have. This is what we have. That is what we have. The RC is just the, the member framing into this secondary beam. The RC is not this member. So this member is an IPE, uh, IPE 300, and this is the part number. There's uh, the part number. So that's it. So if you come here, you can see the specifications of that particular beam. We have uh, the part mark is B B55. And other details that, that frames into it have been given here, the quantity one and uh, eight, of, eight of them. We have L profile here, it has been indicated here. We have eight of them framing in, and we have also plates that frames into our segment beam, and we have eight of them. So we have one particular number, as you can see the symbol here neatly created as an IPE, and the lengths are here. All the details are given here, the material steel, the part mark, and the total weight of that particular assembly is 301.44. And we have the assembly list of assembly marks. We have one, the B55, which is the, the whole assembly of that particular secondary beam. This is the assembly mark here. So the total weight of that assembly mark is equivalent to this one here. You can see the same here. So the material list you have, we have the plate here. Uh, uh, we have 70 by 8, that, that uh, 8 means the, the thickness. And uh, the material is ST37, and the weight of that is 5 that. And we have all the all the details here. So that's how you you walk around, and you, you see, you can see we have our our title block in place, and uh, everything in this in this section. So this is a drawing ready for production, and don't need to comp. And if you just need some uh, a drawing, just to you, you want just to throw in your signature so that when someone who gets hold of your drawing, drawing will not will not will trace it back to you. So it's always good to come in and maybe add some bit of your signature, I mean, uh, something that identifies with how you, you, you comp your drawings. So if I come here under this viewport here and just double click in there, I'll be able to close the in, indicate or add a, a line card symbol or this card symbol here. Just click OK, click OK and click Apply and give it an OK. So you can see all Remember, this drawing was squeezed so that we don't use the full length of this particular member uh, at 
all the way so it has been chopped into into spaces and uh, a space uh, any lamp that is close to a, a connection it is broken there and suppose we had we, we didn't have all these bolts it would have been something very short because we would just cut it into just into one make it very small it, 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 would, have, it, it would have been even equivalent to this size from here to here now this is how it looks and we have all the all the details on, of how these uh, the parts frames to this particular secondary member so let's meet then and that's how you can create assembly drawings from uh, from that from a simple structure of that kind in composites let's meet then bye bye Thank you.